And so, we're now being thrown through time into... Yeah. This is our next stage. We're going to the Stone Age. The, prehist the prehistoric age. Flintstone era, whatever you like to call it. And, oh shit. Foot Clan in the past. So we're making that trip back to the future. That long, hard, painful trip. You know, like the one Samurai Jack did. Mm. Uh, that was a great match, though. Oh. But as you see, everything will be out to get you. You cannot destroy the pterodactyls. You can only avoid the rocks that they drop. And when we get into this cave... When we get into this cave... That's when the real fun begins. Because we will be facing the most... Annoying enemy... In TMNT history. Them. The Rock Soldiers. Now see the thing is, they can they can actually dizzy you or knock you over with their um shoulder tackles. But since we don't want that, we want to get rid of them quick. And I do mean quick. Ow. That hurt. Okay, so we keep moving. We got our black ball of death, which we used. Now we make short work of the foot. And as soon as we get out... We actually get run over. Yeah, because even in the prehistoric era, drive-bys still existed. They were a little more dangerous, though. Because you didn't get shot, you just got run over. That is if you weren't careful. So, once we reach the end of the stage... We shall be treated to our next boss... Right after we take care of the last of the enemies in this stage. Like so. Because they're assholes and we don't like assholes. Get off our land! So, we face our next boss, which happens to be Slash! Who is our evil doppelganger? And I'm. And I really don't remember Slash. Really, I don't remember him from the series. But the whole trick is that, the whole trick about him is, he's very easy because he likes to jump around. I look at him, I still think about SWAT cats. The episode in which T-Bone and Razor actually go fly into an alternate dimension in which they face their evil counterparts. 
but the whole trick to take down slash is he likes to jump a lot. And his jumping will be his own downfall. Because since he likes to jump so much, being that he is part Wolverine, this evil doppelganger must be dealt with very quickly. But simply, you must hit him behind his back. You can actually break his guard if you can. Because he will break his guard by simply doing an attack move. If you can break his attack move, then the battle is pretty much yours. His Blanca-like move is actually his greatest mistake because really, once he starts launching himself into a ball, once he launches him, his, himself into a ball, his back becomes exposed. So, all you need to do is just jump over him when he starts doing his ball move, and... Really, it's not a difficult battle. But the thing is, he is very powerful. But with that, once you take him out, he turns into a cannonball. And it's a race from history. So next, we move from the prehistoric era into Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Going crossbones. Yes, going crossbones. We are in the age of pirates. Hi ho, fiddle lady! Quite a fun stage, really. Quite an interesting stage. Total opposite from the Genesis is the fact that you're. Th the fact that this ship is really a ghost ship. And you must surf there in order to get to it. It's not a bad concept. Actually, it's quite an interesting concept. So, let's see. Not much I can say here except um, be very careful of these new yellow foot members. Which can throw, which they can throw a chakra match you. And be very careful because they're back. And also be very careful because we got another ship actually firing at us. So the great thing is. They can also hit the enemy. So use that to your advantage if you so choose. No, it wasn't a waste a wasted shot. So as we're fighting toward the end of the ship. Taking on the foot pirates of the caravan. What I wouldn't give to see Captain Hook right about that. Ow. 
Now these bomb throwing um book members like to do kamikaze. And you are so cheap. You cheap little monkeys. So as we are reaching the very end of the ship, we shall take the last couple of enemies out and take out these rock soldiers like so. And so here comes our next couple of bosses. Captain Captain Rocksteady and First Mate Bebop, who are doing odds with each other. So really, um, this match is pretty much a love-hate relationship right here. I'll tell you why. When you take one out, it gets funny. It gets really funny at the end. I mean, right now, they're fighting together. Which isn't anything new, right? But just observe the very end of this fight. You'll see what I mean by they have a love-hate relationship. See? They eliminate each other! Oh, I hate you! No, I hate you! No, I hate you more! So... Since we have cleared that, we're going to go to the next area.